Steve Whitney, Cross City. <laughs> Kent Ron, where are you, Kent? From Campus Bible. Uh, Shane Ham, couldn't be here this morning from North Point. Uh, who was here from North Point this morning? You represented uh, Shane, right? Yeah. Okay. What was your name? Uh, Grandpa Art Winter. Awesome. Thanks for coming. And then uh, Chuck Trogdon from People's Church also. So this is the, the foundation of, of churches that are partnering with us ongoing. We want, we want uh, men's ministry leaders from a lot of churches to join with us for this Mighty Men movement, continuing on with a, with a lot of energy, a lot of synergy, right? So uh, the, the, the Mighty Men movement uh, is really is about two things, and you really can't see that very well. Um, but it's about two things, prayer and discipleship, right? If we get that right, we're gonna see families change, we're gonna see churches change and communities change. So Psalm 78, four, we will not hide them from their descendants. We will tell the next generation the praiseworthy, of the praiseworthy deeds of the Lord, his power and the wonders he has done. Men, if, if, if we do this right, we can affect generations to come. When they see what takes place in the St. Mark Center and they see the transformation and they get inspired, they get motivated, that next generation is gonna to wanna to do the same thing. And then the next generation, right? And that's what we wanna see is transformation in our cities, our churches, and communities. And this is just the beginning, okay? Truly, this is just the beginning. Our vision is to take this way beyond just Fresno. We want to go out and take it down to Southern California, down up to Northern California, because over the last year, we have connected with significant men's ministries all over the valley, Northern California and Southern California. So we're already set to do the next thing. And because of Tim, what Tim's been doing, uh, it's really, this has really been pioneering. But once this is over, we're going we're to have a template that is gonna be, make it much easier the next time. That's our role, men, to disciple, reach out to other men. Empowering people means we step back and wait until they're ready to hear, engage, and learn. Does that mean I'm silent about my faith? But it means I don't preach at people. Catch that. I earn the right to be heard, so we live out our faith very openly, but we don't expect people to follow unless God has drawn them into it. And you know, when I first recommitted my life to Christ on May the 1st of 85, I thought everybody I met with, I had to lead you to Jesus that moment. I was putting too much pressure on guys. What's 1 Corinthians 3 say? Paul says, I plant, Apollos waters, who makes it grow? God. That took all the pressure off of me. That's God's job. My job is to pour the coffee, come alongside, get to know you, call you every couple of days, Build a relationship. The rest of it is God's job, not Tom's job. Now, the message I have for you of the coward who went to war is a simple one. I found out that in combat operations, it was easy. I knew I was with the strongest uh, military in the world, and I was going to go take care of business. Well, now I'm in the valley, and I will tell you the most gruesome battle is right outside those doors. And I found that the same way that in forward operating bases, you've got perimeter wire and you've got security and inside you can take your guard off and inside you're safe. Well, when you're safe, you can be courageous. The hard part is when you roll outside the gate and there is no more wire and now it's just you and the enemy. There you go. And I wanna tell you right now, it's easy to be courageous here. Our challenge as men is how do we get our brothers and sisters to come back to the well and drink from the same well, reinforce their strength and put back their armor, fill in these seats and go back outside and be willing to be courageous out there.
Men, I'm going to tell you, God has a purpose for all of us. I don't know what it is, but if you just let God take the wheel, I will tell you, you know exactly what I'm talking about when you stand next to somebody and you realize they need to hear about Jesus. And now I'm going to bring Pastor Jim Cece up to lead us in a time of prayer over three different items. So, Pastor. Good morning, gentlemen. Thank you for getting up and being with us. When I first moved to Fresno, I was angry at God for calling me to Fresno. I'd lived in some amazing cities. And uh, what an amazing thing of God to call me to a city that is now one of the spiritual centers of America. Renowned, renowned Billy Graham, Bruce Wilkinson, Francis Chan, some pretty powerful people saying there's something God is doing in this city, this county, that will impact the entire nation. And here we are, ground zero. But to whom much is given, much is required. The unity that we talk about can often just be a veneer if we're not careful, if it's not based in prayer. We can talk unity, we can look unified, but we need to act unified. That's what this event is all about. Mighty men of God, building churches on the back of strong and unified men. We need to pray for our city. We need to pray for our pastors. We need to pray for our workers. We need to pray for this. And that's exactly what we're going to do. I remind us of Jeremiah 29, 7. Seek the peace, the shalom. Which it does mean that it's the absence of tension. It means understanding the wholeness of God. That's what shalom means. May we accept God's wholeness in our city. Seek the shalom and prosperity of the city to which I have carried you into exile. You know, the place where you don't want to be. Pray to the Lord for it because it prospers. For if it prospers, you too will prosper. As Brother Tom said, we're not talking financial. We don't want to be the financial center of America. We want to be not just a Bible belt, but a true movement of God. And we start with the men in this city. Somebody say amen to that. Amen. So I want you to bow your heads right now. Would you join me in prayer?